Piper Laurie is a film and TV actress known for performing in such works as David Lynch's cult classic Twin Peaks and the 1976 horror film Carrie. Piper is still working today, and the actress thanks some decidedly traumatic childhood memories for her career in Hollywood. Join Facts First as we explore how Piper Laurie's rotten childhood turned her into a star. Piper Laurie's Troubled Childhood Piper was born in Detroit in 1932. At the time of her birth, she was known as Rosetta Jacobs. It wasn't until her entrance into the Hollywood studio system during her teen years that Piper would be granted her much more famous stage name. The young star's first studio contract came when she was 17, though she had a childhood full of traumas to get through first. She was so incredibly shy as a child, her parents grew to wonder if she was mute. At an older age, Piper was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, though these things weren't quite as common when she was growing up. Because of this, Piper faced a good deal of stigma due to her undiagnosed condition. Perhaps as a result of her strange behavioral symptoms, her parents decided to have her and her sister locked up in a children's sanitarium when the future star was only six. This was certainly a traumatic event for Piper, but after coming to terms with her parents' apparent abandonment of her and her sister, she was able to have an okay time at the sanitarium and credits her stay there with inspiring much of her future talent. Her mother and father never explained why they had her and her sister institutionalized, but they ended up coming back after several years to bring the girls home and resume family life as if nothing had happened. Piper's sister has always had issues with asthma, so this, mixed with Piper's anxiety issues, could have contributed to her parents' decisions to have them confined to an asylum. Still, for Piper, that stay had opened up doors in her mind that were never closed, and the young girl knew she wanted to be a star. The sanitarium stay wasn't all bad. While institutionalized at the children's sanitarium, Piper and her sister stood out due to their looks. They were both freckled with red hair, and their freckles were only made worse by the geographical area where the girls were staying. The sanitarium was in California, and the sun in the state made the girls' freckles stand out like a sore thumb. Thankfully, they were able to overcome their differences with the other children, but they faced bullying early on. The thing that helped the girls cope with their sanitarium stay was the music lessons. All the children there were forced to learn the piano and perform what they had learned in front of the other children. This forced Piper to open up and is eventually what made her realize she was a star. According to Piper, although the unexplained sanitarium stay had certainly been traumatic for many reasons, being forced to open up like that in front of the other children granted her skills that have lasted her for her entire life. These skills also allowed Piper to enter into her Hollywood career. Piper becomes a Hollywood star. Piper Laurie made her entrance into Hollywood at 17, signing a contract with Universal Pictures. She made her big screen debut starring alongside Ronald Reagan and went on to work with notable Golden Age stars like Tony Curtis and Rock Hudson. Piper claimed she lost her virginity to Reagan and she retained a close friendship with Rock Hudson until his death. While Piper found some modest success during these early days, she eventually became disenchanted with the Hollywood studio system. Before we tell you more about Piper, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Piper heads to the stage to prove her worth. Piper Laurie's contract with Universal Pictures lasted seven years, and the star wasn't interested in renewing the contract once it was up. Instead, she looked to find a place outside the Hollywood system where she would feel freer to express herself. She set her sights on theater. While the theater crowd was initially hesitant to accept what they thought was just another superficial Hollywood star trying to prove her dramatic chops, they were eventually won over by her talents. She ended up becoming a notable dramatic star on the stage, and this made the world realize there was more to the actress than what had been shown during her days with Universal. While the movies Piper had made with the studio had made her popular, they didn't take advantage of her acting skills. Piper's Return to Hollywood After reinventing herself as a dramatic actress on stage, Piper Laurie was able to come back to Hollywood in a spectacular fashion. She was able to give some more experimental and memorable performances. It was during this period that she appeared in the classic horror film Carrie. The Brian De Palma-directed horror classic was released in 1976, and Piper appeared in the key role of the titular character's mom. And she delivered quite the performance in the role. Around the same time, she could also be seen in the similarly classic film The Hustler. In the late 80s, Piper received a role in the David Lynch TV series Twin Peaks. Working with David Lynch on Twin Peaks Piper was incredibly excited about the opportunity to work with director David Lynch, as the filmmaker had risen to prominence over the course of the 1980s, with critically acclaimed features like The Elephant Man and Blue Velvet. 
Although David was working within the medium of television this time instead of cinema, the director was adamant that the work he was going to be doing with his new series would be comparable to any Hollywood production. In fact, the pilot was given a theatrical release internationally. During its first season, Twin Peaks became a big hit with audiences, and Piper was a big part of the show's success. As a result of her performance, she received a Golden Globe Award and two separate Emmy nominations. On the show, Piper played the character of Catherine. Later in the series, Catherine fakes her death and changes her identity. David Lynch allowed Piper to come up with her own disguise, and the actress decided she wanted to disguise herself as a Japanese man. David Lynch told the cast and crew an esteemed Japanese actor was being flown in from Japan to play some supposed new role, and no one on set had any idea it was actually Piper. According to Piper, that experience was one of the most rewarding of her career, thanks to the fact that she was able to choose her own disguise and fool all her co-workers. Sadly, the character of Catherine received less focus towards the back half of the series' original run, and Piper wasn't one of the many stars who was asked back for the show's recent revival. But Piper claims there's no bad blood between her and David Lynch. Piper is still working today. Recently, Piper made a significant return to the big screen in the critically acclaimed 2018 feature White Boy Rick, which also featured Matthew McConaughey and Bruce Dern. The same year, she received acclaim for her performance in the low-key indie feature Snapshots. Today, she's 90 years old. Her most recent work was in an animated podcast series, Carcerum, which she lent her voice to for one episode. Piper's Personal Life Piper Laurie has only been married once. Her first and only husband was film critic Joe Morgenstern. The two were married for two decades, from 1962 to 82. They had a daughter named Anne Grace Morgenstern. It remains to be seen if Piper's appearance in White Boy Rick will be the last she ever makes on the big screen, but we certainly hope not. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite episode of Twin Peaks? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.